And you're you're full time author, right? I am now. Yeah, I have. Um, I was a writing prof- or I was I was a writing professor part time at the beginning. Um, I had actually written my first book. I mean, I'd always wanted to. It's what I've always wanted to do. Um, but I actually finally had time to write my first book um, when I was, well, we won't talk about how old I am, um, about 14 years ago. And that was because my second son um, was very premature and he'd had really bad lungs. And the doctor had told me we had moved from California to Austin for, at that time, my husband's job. And the doctor told me if I could keep um, my middle son home a year out of, I had him in a babysitter in California. Um, if I came out of a babysitter, if I keep him out of a daycare, we could probably get his lungs in better shape. And so, you know, we just sold a house in California. So for the first time in our whole lives, we actually had a little bit of money where we weren't, you know, cause we met in grad school. We had a baby right away. You know, that, that's you how didn't have goes, all right? that sweet, sweet English professor money. <laughs> yeah. All that sweet, sweet English professor money. Exactly. <laughs> and he was a junior engineer and yeah. So anyway, um, we said, okay, well like, you know, there's really no contest, right? Your kids, you know, life. So we're like, yeah. So I stayed home for a year and I said, okay, I'm going to write my book. And I wrote two books that first year actually. And they end up became my second one became my first book published and my first became my second book published. And, um, and that's kind of how that went. I forgot what the question was, <laughs> but, well, uh, well, we were just talking about your, your process and how you get to oh, you oh, was write I a book in 10 time. days. Right. I'm fascinated. Yeah. Teach me to be more and, like uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> and so then at that time I was full time then, and I used to write actually during, um, the baby's nap times. Um, he was, thank God, he was a prolific sleeper. He would sleep for three hours. So I would get him to sleep and I would run up the stairs to my office and I would write for three hours and that's how my first two books got written. That's just a in those three hours. God. Wow. <laughs> yeah, thank God. That's, I know, my first wow. one didn't sleep past him. When he was uh, six months old is when he gave up naps. So my first one was not like that at all. But my second one, oh, he was such a good sleeper. <laughs> it was such <laughs> a gift. <laughs> and um, so that's how the first two books were written. And then I was still teaching and I still taught part-time up until, uh, I want to say 2014, I guess it would have been 2014, 2015, which is when I first hit the the New York Times list and all of that. And then I went full-time and I taught part-time, um, mostly because, you know, I wanted to keep my hand in it. I liked it. You never know, you never know how writing is going to go and what the market's going to look like and how your career is going to go. If there's one thing, you know, this business, I'm sure it's taught you the same thing, right? I mean, it's, it's a marathon. It's, it's not a sprint you know and so you just have to be prepared for a lot of things and so i didn't feel comfortable giving up teaching until around i guess it would have been about 2015 and then i had filled in for a friend think about i guess it would have been a year and a half ago when she'd gone on maternity leave she said could you could you fill in for me and i was like yeah you know my kids are in school that's no problem so i went and filled in a couple classes for her and realized how much i missed it and so i went back and started teaching um I think I took two classes a semester for a few semesters, and then this is the first semester I've had off. I think I taught three semesters, and then with Crave coming out, and we knew I was going to be traveling a lot, and I was like, I can't, I can't travel and be in a classroom, right? And of course, then COVID came along, and I was like, well, I'm just as glad I'm not trying to. I've never, I mean, I admire teachers who can teach online, and I, that's never. I like being in the classroom, like I love being with my students anyway. So. I just, I don't think I would have been great at it. So it turned out to be a blessing that I wasn't teaching this semester. So, and now that Crave is doing all of its, what it's doing, I, I don't think I'm going back for a while. So yeah, full-time writer, long answer for a easy question. Full-time writer. Oh, that's great. That makes my <laughs> job incredibly easy and we all learn more than we would have. <laughs> there is that. 